we're here, we're flying, uh, in a little bit. Kind of early, yay! Um, so, um, flight sim content. Nah, I have not, <laughs> as usual, done much, but it is kind of because I wanted to kind of wing it a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna actually practice IFRE sort of things, because... I'm trying to understand all the written stuff, so all those regulations and such, and how IFR things actually work. So I'll get, oh shoot, and I didn't, okay. Okay, hang on. We'll get Microsoft Flight Simulator going. And then that goes, boop, all right. Boop. Yes, so we'll go to Sky Vector. We shall choose our spot. I had one, I started picking one, um, but we'll see. What am I doing? I am doing mm, this one. Bada boomba. Nyum. Okay, so I'm gonna look on four flight. I was looking, uh, again, I was looking at one. Because there was only the one option when I was looking. But we could do something different now because there's a little bit more IFR and low IFR and such. So, see what that weather is still. Um, so, you know what? We're just going to potentially. No, there's a holding pattern there, though. Because I want to try and do the holding pattern situation, but properly. <laughs> enter it properly and figure out how to enter it properly so maybe we'll just we're gonna clear this and then we'll figure out where we're going so we will we'll look for the pink that one's promising mm, but it doesn't have a whole lot around it neither does that one Okay, we might be doing this one over here. Okay. Nope, not that one. That one. Okay. So I just gotta find where those are now. <laughs> um... DVP. Uh, destination KDVP. Nice and low IFR. Um. Well, we'll make sure it has procedures. Oh shoot! It does not. Well, we'll see about the IFR nearby it. Procedures? No! <laughs> okay, this one might work. Mm. Okay. Okay. Ooh, DME arc. So we might be doing this one. Um, oh, what am I doing? All right. So we we're gonna start from where? Um. Ooh, we're gonna start down here and then we'll go up to there. Okay, sorry, I'm getting there. That looks fun. We'll see about this one. Um There. Okay. That kind of looks good. Okay. 
Okay. So where are we starting? Four delta eight. Four delta eight. Oh, but I kind of wanted a holding pattern. Does that have a holding pattern? Um. We'll just practice how to get into the holding pattern on paper, and then we'll just do the DME arc. That sounds like a plan. So then we're going to go to uh, Kilo Rome. It is Romeo, right? Whiskey. Oh, gosh. Foxtrot. Okay. So that's that. Um. And as an IFR pilot, we must check the things. So let us check the things. No, 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 no. Okay. So it is uh, 4,001 feet. That should be good. Um, and our alternate, okay, so, so I have to remember what it's supposed to be. So if the forecast is, let me find the for. how do I find the forecast? Uh, how does it give me forecast? I've forgotten how to do this. Uh, does it give me path, 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 path? Do I go like, no. Uh, maybe I just got to do the aviation weather dot gov stuff. Hang on. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll just read it off. I'll just read it off. Um, so at the estimated time of arrival, it has to be 2000 ceiling and three statue miles of visibility in order to not have to file an alternate, I believe. So there's a specky METAR, except, oh, shoot. So our estimated time on route is 40 minutes, and we'll probably be taking off in at like 9, 9.30, 9.45-ish. So, um, so that's going to be, apparently, technically, we would be good. However, yeah. <laughs> it has changed. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. This is fine. So we would technically be, be good. We wouldn't have to file an our we wouldn't have to file an alternate. However, we're going to pretend like we would. So we're gonna go like this. So say we were gonna do this one. Wyndham as our alternate. Uh we will check that to see how that would be and see if we could put that as our alternate. So it has only precision approaches, which we wouldn't be able to do, but say we did have that capability. It would have to be uh, at the estimated time of arrival. Hang on. Hang on. So first, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to get all of, all, all of it together. So this one at, where is it? Redwood, at Redwood Falls, um, it would have to be between, from one hour before and one hour after the time of arrival. So around uh, something, something Zulu, what is it? Uh, we'll be getting there, like, uh, 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 there. Um, it would be fine. It would still be fine. But now, at the estimated time of arrival to that alternate, it would have to be, for a precision approach, it would have to be 600 feet ceilings and two statute miles of visibility think and then if it was a non-precision approach it would have to be 800 feet and two statute miles yes <laughs> excellent all right so then and is it let's let's find out the taf at that one 
uh, at the time that we would be arriving is VFR. So we'd be good. We'd be good. We'd be excellent. Awesome. Okay. Um, or, uh, so say all of these are red and stuff. Maybe we'll check this one too. What is this? Granite Falls. Oh, there, that one. Awesome. So that one would be, can we add that to our flight plan? Add to route. Excellent. So that would be. Again, estimated time of arrival would be then. <laughs> and the weather is supposed to be also VFR. <laughs> so we're fine. We figured it out. Awesome. And the fuel requirements. Our fuel requirements. So say, say we did this one. Say we added this one to our route plan. Yes. Okay. Then it would be however much fuel it takes to get to there, as well as the alternate, plus 45 minutes during the day. And to be honest, I haven't seen any questions at night, so I don't know. Um, okay. Excellent. We did that. Perfect. So now We shall check the this thing, um, and we're gonna do the DME arc. So I gotta get that up. Uh, 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 excellent. So we're going to be arriving. So we're gonna go to the VOR. Ba doop. And then we'll go out on the 283, oops. So we'll go to here, because we're coming from here. We'll go to there, and then we'll go to there. And then we'll do the arc. Why am I doing that? I could just do the procedure. I apologize. Uh, move. Remove, procedure, approach, VOR. Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh. Mm. Uh, okay, we'll just do that. Perfect. I'm going to have to switch it up anyway. So we're going to head to there, and then we're going to go out on there and go this way, and then maybe we will. Maybe we'll do like a missed approach, and then we'll come back around. We have to look at it. So we're doing the VOR A alpha for Redwood Falls Muni. Um, it is not out of date. It Our VOR DME is 113.3. Approach course is 16. This part. Um, airport elevation is 1024. Altimeter setting. Excellent. Missed approach. Climb to 2000. Then climbing left turn to 2,600 2, direct Redwood Falls <laughs> VOR DME and hold. So there. So we get to there. Then we climbing, climb to 2,000, climbing left turn to 2,600, back to the VOR and hold. Excellent. So for that, we'll quick <laughs> see if I have, do I have paint on here? I'm going to draw, <laughs> do a really terrible holding pattern entry thing. Let me see if I can figure this out. Um, um, there. Nope. Uh, excellent. <laughs> ah! Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There. So, <laughs> um, we would be coming. Hang on. 
Where'd my mouse go? There it is. So we'll quickly get back to this. So we'd be coming from, we're coming from here, and we don't quite know what the actual course is going to be, but we're just, we're just going to guess, um, and we will, yeah, do the thing. So the radial is 196. I'm trying to figure out if I can uh, make this, and yeah, 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 oops, nope, not that. Uh, not that. Uh, no. Actually, hang on. Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? Why isn't it disappearing? Oh, that's why. Oop. Okay. So we're going to make that small. And I'll make it bigger here. And we shall figure out our holding pattern. Entry. And then we shall get in the plane. Uh, ba, 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 ba. There. Eh. Perfect. I think. Can you see it? There. Okay. So, boop, and paint. So, we're on the 196 radial. So, we're going to draw that. And it's going to be terrible, but just bear with me. So, we're going to be holding, oh my gosh, on the <laughs> 196 radial. Boop. And so, the VOR is here. Excellent. So we're going to be holding like this. Make a very terrible bean. Excellent. We'll be going this way and this way. So we bring this out. And this is the 16 degree radial. That's, I should have made that more up and down. But that's fine. This is fine. So then we draw a line here and subtract 70 from there. So this will look up 70. Hang on. Uh, uh, so 360, 360, so it's going to be 306, 306. So if we enter from here, it's a teardrop. And here we add 110, so that's 126 for here, not at all north, but this is parallel and this whole thing here is direct. I'm guessing we would be um, entering on a teardrop then because if we're coming from here can you see my mouse on there down there <laughs> um we're coming from here yeah yeah that's that's probably going to be a teardrop which ends up being you go into no yes no yes you go in for a minute and then you boop like that because if you go like that, then it's like that. Hang on. I have to check to make sure. Uh, what is the holding pattern? Uh, no. Where is it? Shoot. This one? I don't remember how to do it. Hang on. Um, holding pattern. Holding pattern entry. <laughs> okay, here it is. Perfect. There. This one. Oops. Oh, Pilot's Cafe. That thing's good. Uh, there. Mm, zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. There. So, our teardrop, we would enter the teardrop and we would, it would be to the right and then, and then enter. Yay, we did it. <laughs> so that's that. And now I think we can get 
in the plane question mark because I think we figured out enough. Um, <laughs> now I gotta get out of all this. Boop and boop and uh, <gasps> no. Are you kidding me? Okay, there's an update. <laughs> And it was just sitting there. Okay, I guess we'll do more ground school stuff. Well, that's flipping, updating. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. All right. Well, um, let's go back. We'll we'll put our stuff in little nav map. That that's good. That'll be good. So we were hang on. Little nav map full. Perfect. So we're going from I've already forgotten search button airports for for delta eight correct to um yes fl flight plan departure and we'll be going to rwf A-R-W-F. Excellent. Um, destination. And I guess we'll throw KGDB in for our alternate, even though I have no idea if that's, like, proper or not. I don't know. I don't know how to pick an alternate. Flight plan alternate. Excellent. Uh, where are they? Where did it go? There it is. Okay. All right. So we're starting in Iowa. Go up to Minnesota. Oh, that's cool. It's along a river. Okay. Yes, that should be good. Um, boop and boop. And we'll check our... Oh, it's halfway there. Wow. And I'm gonna try and do partial panel tonight. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we're we're gonna try it. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. Yes. Um. Get this ready. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And get <laughs> my track IR was being a little bit wonky. I don't know why. It was deciding not to cling to my headset. Ah. But I think it's fine now. So we'll get this ready, and then hopefully Microsoft Flight Simulator is almost done. It is. It's almost done. Um, ba -ba, and center. E excellent. Uh, where's Microsoft Flight Simulator? Uh-huh, and uh-huh, and uh-huh. There. There. Make sure this is what it's supposed to be. Oops, that's not the correct thing. There. Oakley doke. Why are you, why are you like that? Make it smaller. There. And flight simulator. Oh, it's there. It's so close. It's so close this over here. Oops. 100%. 100%. Here we go. It's going. It's so close. Oh, that's why. Oh, shoot. Hello. Hello. How's it going? We're just about to get started. I realized that I was blabbering on and there was an update I could have been doing, but it's good. It's there. It's Yeah. And that goes like that. There. Perfect. Good. I am glad. I'm glad. Ugh. Pretty well. <laughs> Busy. I'm trying to get, like, I'm trying to crank out written stuff. Um, I was, like, kind of hoping to do it, like, this week. But it's probably not going to happen. But we'll see. I'm still holding out a little bit of hope. One nice thing about playing on the cloud. No updates. Mm, fair. That's fair. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I get that. Uh, but yes, it's it's good now. It's going. We'll get in the plane. And I'm going to, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try and figure some stuff out. I might have to awkwardly sticky note up there. I don't know how to. I wish there was a way I could, like, just turn off the vacuum. The vacuum pump, question mark. Uh, so that I could not use the heading indicator and the attitude indicator. But I don't know. I don't know how. But we'll see. And then, and then, yeah, we'll do the DME arc and then potentially do a missed approach. Come back and do the, pr the holding pattern and then the procedure turn. But if it gets too late, we won't do that. Quality isn't as good and lack of yoga support is disappointing though. That's fair. I mean, it, it is a give and a take. Depends. Do you want that or do you want no updates? I don't know. So it's, it's however, it, however it is. <sighs> it's good that there's different options though. Ugh. You're about to do K boss to K Phil to K boss in the sim. Excellent, excellent. Is that Boston and Philadelphia and Boston? Very nice, very nice. Are you doing it IFR? Are you doing it VFR? Is it for something specific? Oh, we're so close. I don't know if you can see the the pro you can't see the progress bar, but it's so close. Your PC can't run it otherwise. Okay, yeah, that's 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 fair. <laughs> That's what those options are for. Any possibility of updating? <laughs> or upgrading, I should say. A320, JetBlue1159. Nice, nice. Do I fully understand what that is? No, no, I do not. I'm still learning. <laughs> so if you would like to specify and teach me. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, we're this close. It's inching. It's inching. Someday you want to build a PC? Do it. Do it. Do you, do you have the specs or the pieces that you would like already so that once you get a chance to, you can just go for it or you just you're just going to wait? <laughs> Specify what exactly. So, all right, I, and this is going to sound terrible. So, describe an A320. What is specifically, what, like, I don't even know what the difference between a 150 and a 152 is, or, or stuff like that. So, uh, do I need to, that's fine. We're just going to leave that. And then, so, JetBlue 1159, that's just the, uh, company, um, and the number, correct? It's a big bird. Okay. So like, I, so I, I, I get that much. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, I get that much, but that, okay. That's what I thought. And flight number. Okay. Gotcha. 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 See, I, I kind of know things. I just don't know like all the little differentiations, like, yeah, like the, like it is. Again, 150 and 152. What's the difference? I don't know. I was going to build around a RT, RTX uh, 3080. Nice. But with the 4XXX series around the corner, might as well just wait. It There is. Ugh. That's cool. That's cool. I did. I, I ended up building around the 3080. So, and it is. It's been super nice. But yeah, that's definitely wait for that. And that'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be excellent. To be fair, you neither. Oh, just fly the plane. Sounds good. That's that's good. I like that. <laughs> that that's kind of where I'm at. I I'm trying. I'm trying to learn and understand things. E e no, what? Delta, Iocho. Boom. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh huh. And arrival is. Uh, R W F. Okay, the 150 has 40 degrees of flaps, which is more fun. Okay, okay, so I I went in the first other plane that I've ever flown on Sunday. 
and it was a 150. And she mentioned the 40 degrees of flaps. But the 172 that I fly also has 40 degrees of flaps. So the 152 does not have 40 degrees of flaps. <laughs> but yeah, definitely more fun. Just found out you're 25 hours away from 1,000 hours on Vatsim. Very nice. I still got to do Vatsim. I keep meaning to, and I keep not having a chance to. Hopefully, hopefully by the time you see me next, I will have Vatsim. It'll be good. Hello, hello. How's it going? Oh, I can't. Hang on. I cannot see. I cannot see. Oh, shoot. I can't see. Eh. I see a cat. I think I see a cat. Or maybe it's a husky. I can't tell. <laughs> it looks adorable, though. The 152 was changed to 30 degrees. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. It's not hard, trust you. Okay. I just, I am. On one hand, I'm like, I'm so nervous about it. But then again, it's not like actual controlled yet. Um, I guess I can get us into the thing. Um, but, and I do, I really do have to work on the calls because I'm so timid right now. And it, it's not. I, I, I need to be able to just off the cuff it and just do it. It is scary at first. Okay, I'll do it. Flying was scary at first. Well, kind of. Learning how to fly was scary at first, not the actual flying. If somebody else flies, I'm good with it. What am I doing? Tracking properly. Uh, yeah. Track. Well, yeah. We'll track it. We'll track it. We'll get it. There. That's good. Excellent. Uh, just make sure when you get on, you understand procedures and know how to fly your plane. <laughs> Yeah, see that that's that's where it is. Do I know procedures? No. Uh, I flew out of a, uh, and hopefully gonna start flying out of the towered airport near me, um, with a safety pilot, uh, kind of splitting splitting gas. Um, whoa, that looks cool. Shoot, and I did. I started on the flip and runway. Gosh darn it! Gosh darn it! Hang on. Uh, main menu. <laughs> I always forget that part. So yeah. I, uh, do you mean procedures as in like the actual, the actual procedures or like the, <laughs> the actual physical doing of the procedures or like the speaking of procedures? Where did it go? Oh, I have to retype it. Okay. Okay. I can just look there. Because I'm still learning all the procedures. Okay. Except we're going to start not on the runway. Because that's not how it works. Uh, oh, um, there's one parking spot down that way. That's fine. We'll taxi. We're fine. This is fine. The as departure. Perfect. Excellent. Fly. You need to practice more tower ops. Mm -hmm. Same, 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 same. I'm, I'm so nervous. So yeah, I, I flew out with somebody and she's like, do you want to do the calls? I'm like, no. <laughs> so she did all the calls and did the actual, yeah, <laughs> doing of the things. But I do, I need to, they're, they are nice over there and they've already heard me hot mic once. So like, it, it can't, I can't do worse than that at this point. Arrivals, departures, en route, etc. I'm working. I'm working on it. That's what we're doing here. Is we're working on it. Oh, that's not correct, at all. Oh my gosh, why? Why is this like this? How about I go like this? That helped a little bit. Um, centering. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. Oops. Oh shoot. Um. <laughs> So, oh, uh, there, that should be better. Uh, oh, no, I'm not that tall. Okay, there, okay, that should be good. Um, boop. So yeah, so I'm, I'm the only, I'm at literally just doing procedures non, non-controlled and just understanding how those work. The, um, 
the actual approaches. I haven't done anything apart from like written knowledge or book learning for the departures or yeah any of the other stuff i don't know i don't know oh it's your vatsim stats excellent okay hang on hang on hang on oh and i forgot to get the oh i was gonna get the red the red flashlight mod or whatever that was because that sounded amazing total flights nice flying time oh excellent nautical miles <gasps> very nice excellent that's awesome congrats congrats well early congrats you'll get there you'll get there 25 25 hours only oh excellent it's gonna come quick okay so <laughs> I was, uh, okay i will i will try to do everything kind of the way that I think it's supposed to be. And if anyone knows better, correct me if I'm wrong. Do I, how do I, there it is. Okay. Ugh. I wish it was red. Oh. Oh, I thought it, okay, never mind. So we will do our pre-flight and then um, figure out what we're doing next. Uh, control lock comes off, master lock goes, master lock, master switch goes on, uh, we'll check our pito, nav lights, don't have strobe lights, beacon, taxi slash landing, flaps go down, um, is the flashlight a mod? No, this one is not a mod, but, um, there is apparently a red one, a mod for a red one, which I was going to get and I absolutely forgot. So I will at some point. Uh, so checking of the lights. Uh, that and that is good and that is good. And so is that and as is that. Uh, fuel gauges we will fill up, but afterward. So uh, go outside, grasp the... But yeah, so um, the one that I have in there is just on the keyboard, Alt-L <laughs> for the light. Um, oh, it's beautiful. Uh, grass the pito tube. Make sure it's working. It's warmed up. Excellent. Uh, turn everything off. Boop, 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 boop. And off. Awesome. Check the... Oop. Mm. I don't have a light out here. Uh, we'll, we'll quick go on. We'll quick go on this so that I can see. Ooh, it's very nice. You carry a red flashlight in the plane just in case. Yes. I I got the one that you can change the different colors. So there's a blue one and a green one and a red one. Or So like there's, you can switch it from blue to green to red to white. And the only thing that I've used it for is um the dog at the airport likes it as a laser. So I just play with it, play with the dog with it as a laser. That's all I've used it for. <laughs> I mean, money well spent, I would say. So check the static port, check the vents, check the pito, make sure that is not blocked, the drain hole, the fuel vent, the stall horn, uh, drain a little bit of fuel, sump it, uh, check tires, check antennas, check the flap and the aileron, the baggage door, more antennas, the elevator, the rudder, um, the dip, trim tab. Uh, more antennas. Those are very essential in the plane. Are these the, um, no. Okay. Again, I, I'm trying to learn things. Are those the things that dissipate <laughs> the, the, the static? <laughs> are those what those are? Uh, the flap, other flap, other aileron. Luckily you haven't had to use yours. Excellent. Yes, absolutely. Um, more, more vents. Uh, drain a little bit. Of, drain a little bit of fuel from there. The other tire. <laughs> I cannot speak. Check the oil. Make sure it is at around six. Drain a little bit of fuel from there. Check the 
alternator belt that is most essential as well um check the propeller blade the exhaust the air intake the clearance of the nose wheel and i think we are goot i will just check to make sure i will check the checklist to make sure think so never seen them on a small plane right and and th and that's why i when i was reading about them i was like oh that's so cool uh, but i c didn't have anything to like base it off of i mean i guess i can look up pictures but it's just not the same having it tangible okay so we did the thing um i was supposed to file my flight plan but um we still don't know what we're doing <laughs> so well yes we did the thing 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 quantity quality caps drains vents engine oil belt propeller air intake exhaust uh excellent um boop um um boop um yes so i think we're good to go so you file your flight plan at any point and then you um what's the word you start it you uh activate you activate your flight plan before you start taxiing so we're gonna go through the get the plane started and do all our stuff and then we will file our flight plan i hope that's how it goes i'm not sure or not file, we will activate. But for now, we will take our Hobbs time. Excellent. Check our circuit breakers. Fuels on both. Alternate static. Brakes pedal test. Passenger brief. No talking during takeoff and landing. Seatbelts on at all times. Oh no, a 7700 squawk. In England, can't listen, so we're good. No talking to your takeoff and landing. Seatbelts on at all times. Exit out the doors to the left and right. For now, make sure they are tight and locked. That was something else. In the plane that I flew in on Sunday, it, there, there wasn't like a, a locking thing. It was just you pull it tight, shut tight. And that was weird. That was different. Um... If we lose power on the rollout, we stop right on the runway. If it's after takeoff and below 1,000 feet, land straight ahead. Above 1,000 feet, we'll turn around and land back on the runway. And do you have any questions, passengers? I did not fill up the plane. Oh, no. So we'll fill up the plane. Most excellent. Most excellent. That's why we visually check so that we remember to fill it up. Uh, and our parking brake is off because that's the chocks. Okay. All right. Seat track is back in luck. Check it, chicken. Awesome. Avionics are off. Autopilot. Irrelevant. Car heat is off. Beacon goes on. Beacon goes on. Prime it. A one, a two, a three. Prime it. Mixture goes full rich. Throttle slight. Brakes. Clear prop. Master goes on. Mags. Doop -ba doop boop. Eh, professional. Keep it at around a thousand. Have I had a chance to fly a J3 Cub? No, I have not. I have I've only ever flown the one one seventy two and then now just on Sunday the one fifty. Have you? Is it amazing? <laughs> I want to get into other aircraft. Do not be taxiing. I have my feet on the brakes. Okay. I do. I, I want to get, I want, I want to branch out a little bit more. I've, I've just been so focused on like getting, like cranking out the ratings as much as I can. Um, brakes, clear prop, master on, mag start, 
Oil pressure. Oil pressure is goot or getting there. Flaps go up. Avionics would go on. Uh, nav lights. Boop. Uh, taxi light. And then we'll wait with the landing light. Although, again, technically in my plan, the landing light is the taxi light. You started out in one. It's a lot of fun to fly, especially with the door open on a nice sunny day. See, that sounds terrifying to me. <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to formulate my question here. So, you, so you're strapped in, and the the door stays open. And, and even even is it like a? Oh god, this might be a stupid question. I'm 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 kind of okay with it, but I don't know. Is it a sliding door? Like, <laughs> how does it stay open? I'm sorry. Um, nav lights. Frequencies. So we need our frequencies. So we're going to utilize the um, nav there. Perfect. Um, is there a... Well, technically, 98 nautical miles, I feel like we'll be fine. So we're just going to tune it right now. It's uh, is it control? There it is. 113.3. One, one, three. Excellent. Swap. Um, and then we would put in our C tab. And of both of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. We're good. We're we're good right there for now. Frequencies. Adis and Awas. Uh, we'll just check the METAR. METAR. Here. No METAR of it. What? Is is there none nearby? I guess I'll just have to do it myself. So if I were to tune in the a was on here would it actually it does not have one so never mind uh it's not reporting me tars it's not reporting taps ah uh, okay i guess we'll try and check the windsock i don't know how this works not a stupid question okay door is split in two sections the top window portion opens up against the wing the bottom half folds down against the fuselage. Okay. So does it hook or open just the top portion or both? Okay. That's so interesting. So it just hooks on like the up and the down and you're good? I mean, it sounds like so much fun, but like, like I said, I'd be terrified. We don't know what our altimeter is. What about this this one? Doesn't this have one? Okay, we're going to go with this METAR. Why isn't it showing it here? Fine. This is fine. Um, So it's 90 degrees at 6 knots. Excellent. 10 statute. Shoot. Miles. Basically just hooks in place on top and the bottom door just flops around. <laughs> For all of the logical things that I've been finding in this whole aviation thing, I feel like I feel like there would be a different system for that. <laughs> but okay, that's fine. Okay. And it is. Maybe maybe I'm just thinking of it in a certain way that it's actually it's a, it's actually fine, I guess. So <laughs> that's so funny. It just flops around. No no big deal. Uh, so we'll go with 90 degrees at 6 knots and 2, 9, or 8, 7. We'll make sure that this 2, 9, or... Come here. Come, oh, I can't get... Okay, I can't get a little bit closer. 2, 9, or 8, 7. We'll make sure that that corresponds to the 14.39. About... Hang on. Let me make sure... You know what? It could go down a little bit more. 
pretty. Eh. Eh. I'm so sorry. I could go down a little bit more. Maybe one more. Eh, maybe too much. Okay, we're gonna go with that one. Um, cool, cool, cool. Pretty neat. When you land and as the plane stalls, the door floats up. <gasps> that does sound cool. <laughs> it's a 1930s design. Well, okay. I mean, I mean, they knew they knew what they were doing for what they had at the time. <laughs> but no, that's that does that sounds really cool. Terrifying at first, but very cool. So we're good there. Um, so we're going to fort again. 1439 is our elevation, and we're gonna uh, 90 degrees at six. The runway we have a mm, zero niner. Excellent. So we're gonna be hopefully having a headwind. Uh, I'll put the. I'll try to taxi properly this time. Procedure. Nope. Oh, procedure, airport diagram, map. So we're going to take off. We're going to taxi. Uh, so I have to just taxi all the way down on the... Yeah, okay. We're going to taxi all the way down on the runway. This is fine. That's fine. Did all the things. Okay, so we're ready to go. So now we would... Call up flight service and activate our flight plan. Or since, hang on, we're going to do our run up first just because we have to taxi and everything. Um, yeah, so brakes are set, fuels on both, trim for takeoff, flight controls, boop, 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 and boop, boop. Uh-huh, make sure that wiggles nicely. Um, instruments. Good, 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 good. Um, mixtures, uh, best in power. So we'll just we'll just bring it out. Primer is in and locked. Excellent. Seventeen hundred. It was. It was weird on Sunday having somebody else be doing the checklist and me having to like do the thing. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it should be that weird, but it was, it was a little bit weird. Oops. Not that way. Gosh, darn it. So we watch that drop, bring it back, watch that drop, bring it back. Carb heat. I got to pull it. Watch that drop, bring it back. Uh, check the vacuum. Where is the vacuum? The vacuum would be over there. Uh-huh. Um, vacuum is between four and six. And the amps and volts is positive charging. Oil pressure, temperature, perfect. Idle check. Good. Okay. Apparently idles at a thousand. That's fine. So now we would activate our flight plan. <laughs> so if, if it was towered and we were on the ground, we can call ground, correct? <laughs> so I would say, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would actually say, but where are we? <laughs> uh Um, Milford, Milford Ground, Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One, on, uh, on the ramp, I, I don't know, then, then do I say active, I would like to activate my flight plan, please, or do you only do it at the flight service, no. Well, okay, so, so, okay, so if I was taking off here, I would have to contact, who would I contact? Clearance delivery. I don't want to do it over the phone. Uh, 
Ugh, so I would. I would have to call on the phone. So I would call them on the phone, and it is apparently m m Minneapolis. Do I say clearance, or do I say air route traffic control center, or do I say Minneapolis center? I don't know. I'm at Milford, ready to activate my flight plan. They'd be like, okie dokie. And then I would do the craft thing, and they would tell me a bunch of things. And then I would write it all down. And then I would read it back. And then they'd, they'd say, read back correct, hopefully. And then I would taxi. I hope. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try and make this work. Um, uh, oops. Mm. Okay. So we're, so we're, we're turning around. Hang on. E I don't know which way I'm supposed to be turning. You know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep turning. We're just gonna keep turning and figure out where we're supposed to go out. Come on. Come on. You break when I don't want you to break, and you don't break when I want you to break. This is ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Come on. On a dime. I think I'm supposed to, yeah, so I'm supposed to go this way. So I go this way, because we're going to be taking off to the east. I still get that stuff mixed up, and I feel like such a rookie. I still am, but it makes me feel it. Mm. Ah, which way am I going? Which way am I going? What is happening? So I do go, th I go this way. Okie dokie, we're going this way. I suppose the next time I should start doing deltas <laughs> and practicing ground and everything. Ah, uh, I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. Why doesn't this? Th okay, it's it's saying I'm right, so we're going. <gasps> Approaching runway two seven. However, uh, okay. Oops. So Milford traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, back taxi, 0, Niner, Milford. So, okay, so then, <laughs> more questions. So if, I, I guess I did call on the phone, so I wouldn't be on their frequency. But I would call, I called and would get clearance, slash activate my flight plan. And then I would be just doing calls for the uncontrolled airport. And then I would switch to frequency or... Or like before I take off, do I switch to... No, because do I... I do... I'm cleared, so then I do my, my CTAF stuff. And then at some point point because they'll give me an altitude and at some point before that or when I'm like established in the climb or whatever I switch to their frequency and say hey I'm here this is me and then they say radar contact right <laughs> oh uh mil well mil for traffic Cessna hotel tree one delta one crossing one eight via two seven question mark I don't know uh, uh, oh no 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 oops <sighs> I'm always so good at this uh, it would help if my flipping pedals wouldn't go under my table so I 
I just love the lighting. <laughs> That's so cool that they have it like two different ways. I mean, it seems just so logical, but that's, it is. It's, it's fun. It's fantastic. Okay. Uh, there. And we're going to try our zero, zero takeoff as usual. Okay. And we'll get on our center line. <laughs> Airport lights at night are cool. Yes. Yes. First time I actually flew into into a like properly lit airport at night. It was. It was like it's Christmas. Okay. So we're departing north. So Milford traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree One, Delta One departing zero niner to the north. Milford. Okay. Do our zero zero take off. Just gonna keep it on east um, and climb up to. I think this can go. Oops, wrong way. There. Uh huh. It's gonna be weird. So directly on east. Am I missing anything? We could put our mixture in. That's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. Uh-huh. 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 Looking good. Uh. <gasps> so now what is it? If anything, directly to the left of east or right to the right of east. Left of east. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, okay. Go back up just a little bit. All right. <sighs> zero, zero, take off. Rudder pedals. Get my mouse out of the way. Oh my gosh. A little more. Directly on. Pressure. Okay, that's good. Thank you, four flight. Little much. Keep it there. Keep it there. Oop. Keep it on that heading. Keep it on that heading. Little more. Oops. Not like that. Not like that. Come on. Come on. Gentle, gentle. Climbing out at 70 is probably okay. I guess I don't need to bank. Let me get back on that easterly heading without going up so much. Okay. And now we pause, and we look at where we are. Hang on. Let's see how hard. Oh, that's so freaky. Uh, where, where is? Uh, not. I'm way too zoomed in. Hang on. <laughs> is it this? No. That looks like a tag. Okay, why can't I see where... Oh, there it is. Sorry. Ah, uh, we're a little off. We're a little off. That's okay. We made it. Uh, live. Exit. Back in the plane. And making it to four... Oh, okay. So, instruments... All right, keeping on east, making sure the ball is centered, making sure we're not banking. And we could be climbing a little bit more. Because we can, ooh, a little bit less. We can go a little bit more easterly. And so now we're at 1,000, so we'll bring it into a cruise climb and start turning out north. Gentle, gentle. Cruise climb, so we'll trim. Uh, and we're going to shoot. Um, directly 360. So zero to 179 is odd. 
Yeah. Odd. Plus, shoot, I didn't even think about that. <gasps> I didn't even look at the en route chart. I should have done that. Oops. Oh, well. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, we will capture. And we want it directly north. Perfect. We didn't even have to switch it. Oh, excellent. So we're going to go capture that snipe while we're still climbing. If the trim wheel would flip and come alive. Franken trim. Um, and then 1442 is the elevation. So 1000, apart from anything else, is the minimum IFR altitude, I believe. Again, don't take anything I say seriously until it has been verified. So technically 3000 would be fine. Um, I think we're just going to go up to 5000. That way we're in the clouds because that'll be fun. Uh, so we're going directly west. So we should recapture that glide slope. Uh, not that glide slope. I keep saying glide slope. <sighs> the radial. And then I will, once we get on, oh, that, oh, I don't like that at all. In a partial panel, can you still use the VOR? <laughs> I don't know these things. So we'll keep climbing to 5,000. It's creeping, creeping in. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. So we will, we will try to do some partial panel. I don't know how, this, how well this is going to work. Because... <laughs> Basically, my idea is just to stick a couple sticky notes so that I can't see it. You guys will be able to see it. So that'll be interesting. So we're slowly catching that snipe. It's going to be a snipe. Uh, not, not, not cheating on the GPS. Uh, we're crawling. I kind of want to bring it up a little bit more. Throttle's full. And I know it's the IMC stuff. I'm like, I'm, I might turn off the icing. We shall see. It's creeping in, creeping in, creeping in. Okay. So yeah, once we, mm, that could be interesting though. Oh, I don't want to do that. Mm, I was going to say I could, uh, uh, I, okay, I guess I do have, I do have the magnetic compass. I kind of want to get into cruise. I kind of, just because I haven't done this before, we'll get into cruise. Can you not bank please? We'll get into cruise. We'll get on our proper heading, our proper radial. And then I'll sticky note for my vacuum failure. <laughs> oh, no. I just have to figure out where where it has to be, like, there-ish. It's going to be so weird. All right. Coming up on 4,500 feet capturing that radial I heard a beep and I don't know where it was from is it still crawling it's still crawling ball is centered VOR is almost centered And again, we are quite a ways away yet, so it's going to be two degrees off for each white dot on the VOR. So then it's, oh, oh, we're on north, but we need to still be 
going that ish way. Uh, is, uh, I wish there, were, I do. I wish that there was a way that I could just like deactivate these or something, but oh well. Okay, we're coming up on 5,000, so we pitch down and power out. Oop, 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 not that far down, not that far down. Good lord. <sighs> rely on instruments, rely on instruments, rely on instruments. Uh, nope. And there. Oh, so at some point I would have called ATC and been like, hey, I am over here. Um, so we're going to do like 2,400. That sounds good. That sounds fine. Trimming back down to hold 5,000. And we need to not be going easterly. We need to be going a little bit more westerly so that we can gentle, gentle, gentle. I kind of want a sticky note it now and just, oh, use the magnetic compass. I mean, I don't want to, but I probably just should. Mm. It'll be a challenge. It'll be a challenge. Now I just have to reach the sticky notes and the screen. Okay, so we're going to pause quick so that I can get that situated. Oh, this is going to be, ugh, eh. Bear with me. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Chicken's all up in the way. You know what? Uh, we're going to go like this. Uh, sticky note. Ah. And then I have to get it. Oh, I kind of don't like sticking stuff on my monitor, but okay. I need to get it where it's going to be. So I'm going to be like, like this ish. Oh, I'll check that in a second. One second. Uh, and if anybody can figure out a, an easier way to do this, please let me know. Okay. So it was about here. Watch out. I'm still going to be able to see through it. Maybe I'll just, a night flight, yes, and God turned out the lights off. Oh yes, both, both. Uh, we're doing IFR and I was just trying to figure out uh, how to partial panel. So if, so if I'd like, so that would be good-ish. So I'll try to, it's gonna be a lot of sticky. We'll do double sticky notes. Looks like a nightmare. <laughs> Apparently, my instructor and I are doing partial panel next, so I figured I would practice, and the sticky notes are just not, not working the way that, oh, wait. <gasps> I want to stick something in front of it. That's still see-through. <laughs> this is fine. It's fine. That's fine. It's going to be good. We're going to make it work. Okay. Night and rain. Oh, yes. Uh, now everything's kind of messed up, but that's okay. It, it, we're going to make it work. Uh, I'm going to quick look at what you sent me. Excellent. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Oh, excellent. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. There. Okay. So. Huh. All right. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> um, where is... Uh, did it... Uh, there? No. There? There. Okay. Uh. There. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
gonna be weird trying to keep it in there. Okay, I, I need to do this. And location, you can look at my weather conditions on the METAR. Uh, let me look it up again. So we just left four Delta eight on our way to, what is that? Oh, it's got a little breadcrumb and why am I way, way off? What? That's concerning. <gasps> what? My GPS is saying that I'm off, but... Oh. Okay, and so see, that's another thing. My magnetic course is 360. Shoot, hang on. However, my VOR course is more like 174. Well, and then the opposite. Sorry, and then we're going to um, Kilo Romeo Whiskey Foxtrot. Ugh, so... 170 so I should tune it to 174 because I'm way flipping off because then it's gonna be like that yeah mm, ah, okay that's that's new that's interesting um uh got lost so again yeah like uh I still don't quite understand so four flight is saying my magnetic course is 360. Uh, Kilo, Kilo, uh, Romeo Whiskey Foxtrot. So the, my magnetic course is saying that I should be going 360 degrees, but the VOR radial that I should be using is 354. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Kind of. Four minus six would be 354. So, so yeah, so I, I don't quite get how that works. 340, 350, yeah, so that makes more sense is because my GPS is saying I'm way off this way, whereas this was saying that I was still going because the radio... Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. Got it? Excellent. Yes. Uh, does it not look good? Good, because we're practicing and we're doing some partial panel. So I will not be able to see the attitude indicator and the heading indicator. You guys can. I don't know how to... I don't know how to do it so that you guys won't be able to either, but I think it might be an interesting challenge. So 350, that's, that's good. You know what? That's fine. So we zoom back out. And so I cannot see the attitude indicator or the heading indicator. All right. Now that we got that all figured out. So yeah. So if, if you can tell me why. So for the VOR, you should be using the radials given. Correct. I don't know. I don't understand. Okay. All right. Um, unpausing. And if the icing becomes a factor. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I need to be able to see my turn coordinator, though. Okay. So we do want to go in that direction. Oh, my gosh. Going that direction. Ah. Okay. Quick, quick looking. Ignore the super shiny buildings, but I like shiny. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Oh. So, okay. It worked out that um, on Sunday we kept pushing it back because it was gusting. 
And so we ended up going up when the eclipse was happening and it was gorgeous. There was reflections off the ground and everything. And then it started getting like a bite out of it. And yeah. And by the time we got back, it was pretty much all eclipsed and blood moony. And it was, it was cool. It was so cool. Okay. Oh, this is so weird. Um, so keeping altimeter turn coordinatoring. <laughs> That's a technical term. Okay. So turn coordinatoring. Oop, not. Mm. Not. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, now we're VSIing. Also a technical term. Ah, uh, nope. Can't cheat. Well, cause then that's the thing is, oh, with the, oh oh, and we're and we're rising. Oh, let's check the magnetic compass. Okay, we're 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 going. It's backwards though, so we need to go more that way. Without, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so we're descending. <laughs> uh, and we're in a bank, and we're in a bank, and we're in a bank. Oh my god, oh my, ah, oh my gosh. Stop, stop, moving. Chilling, chilling. Uh, looks super nice. That picture? Yes. It was beautiful. I, lo I do. I love the, the moon reflections. Those are always great. And I didn't mind the super shiny buildings. Okay, so we're in a bank which we want to kind of be in, but not too much. So we're going to check the magnetic compass again. Uh, although we need to be in straight and level flight. Uh, so we're, okay. Am I? Okay. <laughs> I should have something on the thing that says, I cannot see the attitude and heading indicators. So just, just trust me. I'm not as bad as I seem. Okay. So we're at, uh, we're going about 60 degrees. That's kind of okay. Cause then we're capturing that radial. Uh, uh, okay. It's, it's creeping in. It's creeping in. <laughs> Sorry about the screenshots, but here's 10,000 feet. All right, let me get level or make sure that I'm level. Okay. Last three. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I like pretty, pretty and planes. Ooh, I, I need to turn up my brightness a little bit. Mm, can I? Perfect. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. <gasps> okay. Continuing on. A uh, partial panel. Uh, and now I, shoot, now I messed up. Uh. Okay, hang on. I, I gotta center it. Uh. Or maybe it was, I don't know. There. Okay, that's better. Oh. All right. And uh, I have so many cords over here, too. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. All right. So we're unpausing. And continuing with our partial panel. Making sure we're not gaining too much altitude or any altitude at all. We're going to trim down a little bit. You know what? We're going to get down to altitude and then we'll trim. Our, uh, uh, what is it? Tachometer is fine. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to use the half bar width, but I can't do that because I don't have my attitude indicator. Trimming down, not fighting the controls. Uh-huh. Okay. Checking our magnetic compass. We're still at about 60 and we're getting close to that centering of the VOR. Oh, this is weird. Um, we're climbing a little bit, so we're going to push in. Oop, not too much, not too much. I keep wanting to look at the attitude indicator and I can't. Just a little bit, a little bit at a time, little, little, little bit, a little bit at a time. It's funny because uh, I had a lesson last week on Friday the 13th. Ooh, 
Oh no, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just saying Friday the 13th. Okay, not banking. Okay, okay. Oh, uh -huh. gosh. Okay, and we're centering, so we're going to turn to the r left gently, 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 gently. Okay. And we're going to trim down a little bit. Uh, and we're... Uh, We're descending a little bit, and now we're banking. Um, we're still on like 60 and east, so we need to turn. You know what? Standard rate. We can standard rate. That's fine. We're fine. This is fine. Uh, center that ball. Don't descend. Uh, and we were almost on east, so it would take about 15 seconds. <laughs> so, hang on. 30 seconds? 30. Yeah, because it's a two-minute. No. Divided by four. 120, 30 seconds. Yeah. However. Yep. Okay. Here we come. And we did. We went a little bit past our radial. So we will. Okay. We'll get into straight and level flight and then we'll recheck our magnetic compass. Oh my gosh. This is. Yeah. So I had a, had a lesson. It was gusty and gnarly and it was interesting. But there, I, I, ha, I was going somewhere with this, and now I've forgotten it completely. It had something to do with it. Oh, like I kind of noticed that I was, I, this sounds terrible. I was kind of skipping over the attitude indicator quite a bit in my scan. It's terrible, I know. But now doing this makes me realize just how much it is necessary. So yeah, we got to go back this way a little bit. Oh, this is weird to recapture that radial. Uh, get the flipping wings where there's the both to be. Okay. And we could ascend a little bit. It's going to do it for us. So I think I'll just let it oscillate. Check that. We're a little bit that way. And so, so I go back this way. I go back this way. And we're turning to north, so it's going to lead it a little bit. Although, it's we're not like west or east. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Level. Okay. We were banking a little harder than I thought. So, yeah, it is. It's so it's so weird. So if we just keep our wings level, uh, except for wind correction. So we're on our radial. No attitude indicator. No DG. Banking. I don't want to... Um, okay. So let's figure this out. It keeps banking me to the right. So it's turning me into the wind. I don't have the brain power for this. So we're going a little bit that way. So we need to turn this way a little bit. So we're going to try and hold a, a heading uh, below 360. Turning a little bit. Okay, well, maybe it's also because we're not even on flipping north anymore. Ay, ay, ay. I miss my attitude indicator and my DG very much. Okay, so now we're getting to where we kind of need to go. We're going to level our wings so we don't go too far. Um, here, hang on. I don't know. Would you guys prefer to be able to see the attitude indicator in the DG or should I cover those up too? For you as well. We'll, we'll try covering it up. Hang on. Shoot. 
Ooh, we'll do red. I'm going to be all off once I figure this out. Okay, so now we're going to go... Oh, uh, it's weird because it's all backwards. Um, Like that. And we're going to stay like there around there on 350. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Okay, so staying at about 350, I'm going to... Take the attitude indicator and DG away from you as well. So it's like there. <laughs> right there? That's good. Perfect. Okay. So make sure we're staying on our 350. We're getting north a little bit, so we're going to go bank down, or not bank, uh, bank that way a little bit. Where? Why isn't, there it is. Of all the things that, it, it's a Sobo, right? A Sobo needs to fix. They should also add um, the little instrument concealers. Uh, probably going a little... No, okay, so we still got to go a little bit more that way. Oh, look at it. Um, uh. And our turn coordinator is indicating a bank. So there. Um... Uh, we're a little bit too far to that side, so we're going to turn not that way, this way. Turn to the right, not the left. Ah, not too much. Oh, it's gorgeous. And leveling out. And checking a little bit too far. So we go back again. We're doing S turns. Although we're pretty much right on course. So that makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so we're there a little bit. Okay, going over. Turning left just a smidgen for that heading. Night flights are the best. Right! <laughs> Oh, and it has. Like, now that the sun is going down so late, I haven't been able to get him in. Oh. I'll get there. Ooh. Do you also open the door at night? <laughs> Could get bats flapping around in the cockpit. Flying in pitch black darkness. And a Cessna seems terrifying. Well, um... Oh, you know what? Why? Hang on. I've been doing this all wrong. Oops, not that. Uh, um, hang on. Where's the... Hang on. There's the... This light is supposed to be red. There it is. Okay. Oh, so it was just L. Um, it's kind of cozy. Ah. In being attacked by a red square. Yes. So um, we are doing partial panel. So you guys don't get to see the attitude indicator or the heading indicator either. So I can't see it. So you can't see it. And we're, we're flying. So uh, we're descending a little bit and we're getting off our radial. Uh, no, that plane doesn't have lights. Oh, okay. Got you, got you. That's fair. Just attach some Christmas lights. It'll work. Um, so we're getting that way. So we got off a little bit. So we're going to get back onto our north 
since we were trying to figure out the light. Um, oh, what's cheating? What's cheating? What do you mean, what's cheating? Oh, but I was going to say, it's cozy. Um, being in the Cessna in the pitch black. Because <laughs> it, 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 I mean... I mean, it is a video game in this respect, but um, it, it's also like a video game because you're just keeping all the things where they're supposed to go. It's like a puzzle. It's a puzzle, and you're just doing a puzzle in the pitch black in the air at a, a, a hundred knots. You know? You know? It's good. Turn the brightness down? Do I do that? Is it? Do I have to? Eh. Eh. I don't know how to do that. Um, covering things. Oh, well, I mean, do, do you want to be able to see the attitude indicator and the heading indicator? I can take it off. I just figured then, like, you guys wouldn't, you, you guys would remember that I actually can fly a plane. It's just that I don't have the attitude indicator and heading indicator to reference. What up, what up? Below the yoke. Below the yoke. That, that's, oh. Oh, but, but I want the red. Oh, brightness. There it is. So how do I turn that? Oh, oh shoot. Wrong way. I love. Oh, that's what we're doing. That looks amazing. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. Okay. It's a little terrifying now. What am I doing? What is happening? Okay. I am definitely descending. That's what I thought. Uh, but then I, I was ascending and okay. Okay. Uh, th thank you for the brightness thing though. That That is amazing. Technically, I probably should turn it up a little bit. Although, I really like this color. Uh, we need to get back onto our thing. Uh, what? They're stinky. Still cheating. I'm so confused. <laughs> do you want me to take it off or do you not want me to take it off? Are you talking about the partial panel stuff? I, I'm kind of liking it. It's terrifying, but oh no, I can't see my... Shoot. I can't see my magnetic compass, though. So, shoot. Okay, hang on. Ah, I need to see my magnetic compass. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Hello, hello. I cannot see that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to make sure that I don't die. And I'll say hello and thank you. Is it Erin or Erin? Thank you for following. I can't actually fly a plane, but I, I'm making it difficult. And yeah, I forgot what I was doing. I'm trying to figure out how to see my flipping magnetic compass. Because I need that. That is necessary. Why won't my lights work? Alter there we go. Okay. I'm going to kind of have to do that because I do need my magnetic compass. Uh, I don't like it, but that's the way it's got to be. Um. Okay. Uh, but, but, but always go to the minimum to say, you know what? Actually, now that I have this on, I am going to go to the minimum. Oh, but yeah, yeah, I don't, I should, I should have gotten that mod. Ah, I, I was going to, and then I forgot and now I'm upset about it. Okay. This is fine. Always go to the minimum. See, helps preserve night vision. Right. I will, I will, I will, I will find that red light flashlight mod mod and get that and do that and it'll be good it'll be amazing attitude indicator i love the attitude indicator i i realize now without it how much i love it and i want it back but but keep it <laughs> you don't do much ifr flying do you <laughs> no 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 we're pitching up too much oh my gosh and i'm seeing stuff come into my vision and ah uh, okay we're fine this is fine this is fine Okay, we are in a descent. We are in a descent. We are banked and in a descent. Oh my gosh. Turn coordinator, turn coordinator. Okay, we, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh, and we got to get back on... Does that say south? Oh, it's six. Um, Which is not good. Not good at all. We need to turn. Standard rate. Standard rate turn and... Standard rate turn. Standard rate turn. Standard rate turn. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. 
And so that should take about uh, 20 seconds. I just made that up. <laughs> uh, and if I'm not in standard rate, it'll take even longer. Standard rate, standard rate. Uh, and bring the yoke up, pitch up a little bit. Not that much, not that much, not that much. Okay, and we are back on north, but we, oh, we're way off our, nah, we're fine. Standard rate, standard rate, standard rate. We're going to go a bit, a bit more, because we are at least two, four, six degrees off, and we're still pretty far-ish out. Ugh. So we'll go, yeah, we'll, we'll, oh, 30? 30 is probably a bit much, but you know what? We're going to leave it. Enjoy the instrument training portion of your PPL, especially unusual attitude recovery using just the instruments. Right. It, it is, it's something, it was definitely fun. But when, when I messed it up, it was, it was, it was a little bit spooky. Because <laughs> there is, like, for me in the back of my mind, I was just like, oh, we could spin. We're not supposed to spin. But yeah, it it was. It is it is fun and it was fun and this is so weird. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get 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 on course and everything and not be ascending and descending the way that I am. Ah. Okay, so we're creeping in, so we're going to not turn more that way. We're gonna turn that way, nice and gentle-like, uh, from west. Keeping on going through these little puffs is, oops, uh, yeah, is concerning. Oh, spins are fun. Right. Uh, I've never been in one, but in the plane that I flew for my PBL, um, spins were not allowed. So, but uh, the plane that I flew on Sunday apparently can. So I was, I, I was, I was like, uh, so we're going to do that at some point, right? <laughs> and she's like, ah. but I'll, oh my gosh. No, 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 that was way more than a standard rate turn. Sorry, sorry. What about the music video? <laughs> uh, I, I, I think it's good. I think it's good. No, it's a good song. It's a great song. Uh, okay, getting back on. Okay. Um, And we do need to go a bit more to the left. Because, yeah, we need to actually intercept the track, the radial, capture that snipe. So if the turn coordinator could work the way I would like it to. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this is fun. I do. I'm enjoying I, I like this one. And I'm not, I'm not minding, minding the partial panel too much, but it, it is. It's. It adds that level of difficulty, and it, it it does. It just demonstrates how much I actually do rely on the attitude indicator and the heading indicator and how things switch up when you don't have it anymore. Music video is awesome because it costs about 50 bucks. Is basically the lead singer having the time of his life while the rest of the band just want to die. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, hey. If you're the front runner, I mean, the front front man, you got that spotlight. <laughs> oh, so good. Now it's in my mind and I love it. Okay, so we need to climb a little bit. So, uh, okay. There, there it is. And, uh, I need to, uh, okay, we're going to get up to that 5,000. Uh, we're not going to bank, though. 
Not gonna bank. Ugh. Not gonna bank that way either. So, uh, but, but, mm, okay. Uh, okay, so it almost is worse to have a little bit of visual reference, even if it's just the sky, because it 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 does throw that. It, it brings in that spatial disorientation. So that's why, yeah, my instructor said once that some people, when they're flying in instrument meteorological conditions, actually, they will put the foggles on just because they're so used to that. And then, yeah, then there isn't any sort of distraction. Why are you descending so flipping much? Gosh darn it. No. Can't, no. Why are you doing this? Okay. I'm going to go insane. No. 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 Okay. Airspeed. No. No. I want my bar width. Oh, it's because I trimmed this. I hate the trim. I hate the trim. I hate the trim. <sighs> no words can flipping describe. My mouse is creeping. Uh, okay, so bank and down, please. Ugh. Notice Charlie lo locks on the instruments and doesn't move his eyes. I can't do that. Too used to spec checks. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I do have to get my my uh, my scan down and plus the peripheral. I I'm, I'm sure he has peripheral stuff going on too, but it yeah, I I don't. I'm, I'm I am I'm all over the place still and uh, it is. It's it's throwing me off. It's throwing me off a little. Bit. Oh my gosh, and we're banking and we need to give uh Okay. Hang on. And here's the thing. I was. I was sitting there hyper-focusing on the altimeter. And now we're probably way off. Well, we're not that bad off course. We're okay. We're fine. But. Um, no, we're not. Because we're not on the line. And, or, okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Trim is even worse when flying with the Xbox controller. Oh, right. Okay. I I have not tried that. And I'll take your word for it because I, I would. I would just go insane. I would break the controller. I would break everything because I'm, I'm so close to breaking the yoke with the flip, flip and trim here. So. So how do you actually fly with the controller? Eh. Uh, I only just recently got a controller, so I only tried with the uh, the keyboard at first. But otherwise, it's just been yoke all the way. Gosh darn it. Okay, uh, I need to descend. I need to descend. And I need to make sure. Okay, that's okay. Our heading is okay for now-ish, kind of. Okay. Trim needs to go down because our altitude needs to and go down and we need to not be banking that way our scan our scan must be performed oh. when you flew fsx with the controller you bound the trim to the d-pad worked great to know about the sim though by the time the sim released you already had a hotas okay all right i oh, oh okay so we're on course so uh we need to turn a little bit so we're gonna standard rate it uh, although I'm not sure if I should. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, that was probably that was a little bit too much. Um, so we're gonna go back to the right, and we're uh, too flipping high. So we're gonna go down gently, 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 gently. The, um, oh, okay. It's telling me I need the, 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 the ASOS. So, oh shoot. Okay. Hey, hey, so we're almost there. That's good. Um, 
at this point, I should probably take off the partial panel, though. And, ah, hang on. Sorry. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, sorry. All, all this stuff is just, ah, that's going downward. It is. All, all of this is just throwing me off. So we're at 5,500. We're not supposed to be. We need to go down 500 feet. Um, so we're going to get ourselves where we're supposed to be for that. Gently, gently get down to 5,000, get back on the thing, and then I'll take the partial panel off and we will do what we're supposed to do. We're going to do the DME arc, I think. We're going to try, I think, a missed approach, go back for a holding pattern, and then do the procedure turn and land, I think. I think I think that'll work out just fine. Although it's already been two hours. <laughs> it's already been two hours. It hasn't felt like that actually. It's cozy. Um, okay. Trying to interact with the panel using a controller is a pain. Oh, geez, I'm sure. And you use the mouse for that. Okay. <laughs> um, um, um. Okay. need to get back to that ish way plus go downwards so how far 12 nautical miles so you know what since we're that close ugh, stop it um we would Mm, okay, actually, that's we're not that close. Well, uh, sure. Where are we? Redwood, Redwood Falls, Redwood Falls traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. Uh, Eleven miles south of the VOR Redwood Falls VOR. Uh, <laughs> um. We'll cross, we'll cross over to, I don't know, to enter the DME arc. I don't know. I don't know these things. Yeah. To the west. <gasps> Redwood Falls. Why are we? No, stop. Okay. Um. We're going to get centered. We're going to get centered. And then... And, and and then and then we'll and then we'll no more partial panel. <laughs> ah. Unfortunately, mouse won't work with oh X Cloud even when on a PC. That sucks. Ah, it'd be really cool if when using your tablet you could use touch control. Ooh. So many possibilities, but but not <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I do, I want to say we, I want to say we did pretty okay for having the partial panel and everything, and this stuff keeping on popping up and throwing me off. But yeah, when all of a sudden I start descending and I can see the lights come into my vision, that's, that's, that's kind of freaky. Uh, so going like that, VSI is... Rending downward, very much downward. So pulling back on the yoke for this turn. Okay, and that is correct. Okay. And we're getting pretty close, so we don't need to do too much. It's going to creep back to the right as it's capturing. As it's getting more sensitive, stop going upward. And we need to get back to north. Need to get back to north. Not so far. Chill. Chilling out. Okay. That's just it. Refuse to stream your games. Can't stand the input lag, especially with the type of flying you simulate. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Okay, so since we're pretty close, I want to call that a partial panel success. <laughs> and now I have to... Ugh, get the sticky notes off and hang on. Move my water bottle. Oi, it was... Ew. Ugh, that. I apologize. Ugh. 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 Sorry. 
There. Okay. Ah, oh, it's back. And I guess I'll remove that from you guys, too. Or I could torture you. With not knowing. Ugh. And we are there. And we're, oops. And we're getting that off. Uh, boop and boop. There. Excellent. Uh, it was that or nothing, and you already had Game Pass. It'll hold you over till you get a proper PC setup. That, that, that's fair. Can't go back to FSX after playing this one. <laughs> was just gonna say you'd rather just use F FSX until you could get something better. Oh, no. Different strokes, different folks. I said folks. Uh, this thing. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? We are turning it on, and then we will... Oh, I love having the heading indicator. Although, we're going to... Boop. Excellent. Oh. Oh. That's a sigh of relief that I wasn't expecting. Okay. So, we're... No, stop. So, we're still kind of going that-ish way. Um, the ASOS is 126.575. We still want to keep there ish. Uh, not descending. Oh! <laughs> it's been two hours and I only just realized that the uh, sounds are working again. Yay! Okay. Okay. One half bar width. One half bar width. One half bar width. And keep it kind of on. Mm, so now we got to go over just a little bit. So maybe. Ugh, creeping up on me. Um, uh, okay. Uh, doing the thing. Then again, you still use it from time to time anyways. You also have a real plane, so you're in no rush. Yeah, that's fair too. So we're going to. Tra we're tracking to the VOR. Um, and then we'll be hitting the. Okay, I got to get the plate up. Oh, no. Banking a little too much. No, nope, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, do you need to go down a little bit? Uh, procedure, arrival, approach, map. Close. Okay, so we're getting there. We are 4.5 nautical miles. We'll be getting on to the 283 radial, so I'll have to swap that at about probably like half a mile and start turning. Um... And now we're getting off a little bit. So we're just going to recapture at like 355 and then probably get to just potentially north if the uh, did not check the <laughs> weather meter. Uh, no, you. Okay. So 100, 100 degrees, six knots. Perfect. Uh, three statute miles. So we're good. Light rain, bloom, mist, broken at 300 and 4,200. Oh, okay. Oops. And why did I do that? Make sure we're still keeping on north. Um, overcast 9,000. Okay. Uh, 1312, 299 or 2. So I, oh, so I got to flip that. Um, remarks, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So 299 or 2. Oh, we're getting super close. Let's see. Ugh. Niner. One more. One more. Ah. <laughs> and we're going to hope for the best. So 5,000. Um, 2.3. Uh, uh, okay. So it's getting really close. So it's going to start fluctuating a lot more but that doesn't mean that I can't try to keep keep on it so at one mile I think I will you know what I'm gonna do it now so 283 uh actually no yes I don't remember 270 eight uh two eight Three, okay. So I'm gonna keep heading north, uh, but I'm gonna. Uh, 
Keep heading somewhat north, and once that comes alive, I'm going to bring this closer. Um, uh, and we can get down to 2,600. Oop, oh, oh, okay, 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 shoot. We passed it. So get on a heading of 283. Standard rate, standard rate, standard rate. And we should have been we should have been descending. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna pull power. Uh, it's a seven, so we got seven miles to get down. Oh. Okay. And find our radial. Two eight three, but we passed it, so we'll go like that. And descend to twenty. Hundred, maybe we'll even just keep it at three thousand, just to be safe. And get back onto that radial. Once it starts coming alive, we'll turn back in for it. Keep descending. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting a little too far off. Getting a little too far off. Getting a little too far off. Creeping in, creeping in. Oh, and now I have to figure out my, my DME situation. Ah, shoot. Uh, 270, 283. So we're descending. Still descending. Um... So I'm going to clear, clear all. Direct to. Perfect. Okay, so I can see my DME. <laughs> you guys cannot. I apologize. I'll be honest about it, though. We're at 3.4 nautical miles. We need to get to 7. So at 6.5, we will start turning. Um, now I just got to remember how to do this. Turn 10, twist 10. Uh, banking, no, banking, no, banking, no, gosh darn it. Uh, get back on and descending down to, we'll get to 3,000. And actually we can get to 2,700 only. Okay, so that's, that's confusing. Um, well, you know what, actually, ah. We're going to quick look at the plate. So, um, where is it? This one? Excellent. Okay. So, what I'm seeing is this 2600 here. Can you, can, is my mouse showing? Okay. So, 2600 here. However, down here in the plan view, once you get the uh, RWF, VOR DME, you can get down to 2700. Oh! But. Or is that just for the procedure turn? I feel like that's for the procedure turn. I don't know. So we'll just get down to 3000. And then once we get back, once we doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop, and then once we hit that again then we will we might just land <laughs> we'll see we'll see how how it goes because i gotta do some studying tonight yet so yeah so that's that's the plan um okay where where's the thing <gasps> what sorry <laughs> that was more aggressive than i anticipated <gasps> what i i'm not i'm not sure what you would like me to do Oh, I didn't turn the thing off. What would you like of me? You rang and 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 now you are silent. So getting down to 3000, you let me know 283. We're at 283, 283, 283, 283. You think you see it? Never mind. Okay. Um Oh, if you were the kilo 
not uh, Romeo Whiskey Foxtrot, if that's what you were asking for. Uh, getting back on 283, now that we've captured the thing, uh, we're at 5.5, so we'll one more mile, and we will start our turn, and we will turn 90, so 283, so turn to about uh, 193, yeah, that sounds gr okay. You got it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we're getting down to that 3,000. Still on that thing. We're at 6.3, 6.4. I'm going to bump this up just a little bit as we're coming to 3,000. We're going to start our turn. And I do. I need to bring this up a little more so I can see properly. And we're going to start our standard rate turn. And uh, turn 10. So... Huh, 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 huh? Is that good? I think so. Uh, staying at 3,000, going to one nine or three. And keeping at, s yeah, and we're already past our seven. So we're going to turn in a little bit. And once that captures, then we turn uh, 10. Okay, so, huh, 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 and we turn 10 more degrees, so 183, so that should be okay, we're at 7.2 still, so we'll bank in a little bit more, not too much though, Seven point one. so we're looking okay, that's coming in. Coming in and captured one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and turn ten degrees. We're at seven point one. Come on. Ah, for flip's sake. Go. Uh okay, you know what? Um Nope, that's about good. Shoot. There. All right, so we're at seven, and so I'm going to bring it back in this way a little bit more so we're not... Gosh darn it. Flipping trim wheel. Um, okay, so we're still in there. Ah, and we passed our thing, so shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I hope. And turn ten. We're still at seven, so we're good, and I want to go like there-ish. Perfect. Okay. No, not drifting, not drifting. Ah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, stop, 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 stop. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and turn. Uh, and I believe it was the zero one six. That's a long way to go. Okay, sure. That's fine. Ah, we're at <laughs> six point oh, that looks gorgeous. Sorry, 6.9 miles, so we got to turn in a little bit. Um, but it's better than being on the outside because we'll just intercept it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're just going to hit the 1.5 because now we're at 6.8. So we'll just hit the 1.5. And once 1.6 gets at the bottom here, then we turn in on our course. Now we're at 6.7 miles, so we are going to turn out a little bit more. Okay, so once that centers, I think we're just going to stick with 1.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
So we'll stick with the one five because we're at, okay, we're at 6.7. So we have to re-intercept. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> What's the tolerance for a DME arc? Uh, sticking on that one five for the love. Uh, and I think we're at 6.6. .6. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just going to stay here so that we recapture where we're supposed to be. Stop it. That's so pretty. <gasps> oh, I can't. Is it just the. Is it the red light from like the windshield or <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, you know what? I don't need my magnetic compass, so I might be able to hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're at 6.7. Good. Okay. So we're working on it. So we probably should be going over the plan as well. 6.7, 6.7. Um, so keeping it on that 1.5. Keeping it on that 1.5, stop going to the left. Uh, we're going to turn that up. Nope, not that one. Uh, oops, nope. Ah, pfft. Dome light off. And control light. Uh, uh, alt light. There we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. It's spooky. Um captured one two three four five six seven and we're at 6.8 it's coming in so we're just gonna still stay on that one five and then we'll start turning 10 oh now it's at 6.9 so we'll just go five degrees okay seven so now we're gonna go the, there. Uh, once we capture, <laughs> there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and turn ten. So one, three, zero. Awesome. Okay, so we are going to once we get that zero one six, we're gonna go down to twenty six hundred or. We're going to stay above 2600 by the time we get to the VOR. Keep watching our DME. Can you stop banking? And then we will descend. Our circling minimums are 1540. Hang on. 1024 uh, is our airport elevation. Um, I have forgot. I think it was 100 was the wind and we ha one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry. And turning to one, two, zero. Okay. <laughs> and we're ascending. Don't want to do that. So we're going to push it down. We got lots of time. Yeah, we're probably just going to land. Um, so, yeah, so 100, zero, zero, and the runway is 12, I think we shall do. So, excellent. Uh, getting down to 3,000. Staying on 12, and we forgot to do the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and twist. We're still at 7 nautical miles, so excellent to 110. You know what? We're going to speed up a little bit. That's probably part of our problem. Part of my problem. I guess I'm the one messing up. So 110. Get back to 110. And we'll pitch down to compensate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 100. What? What? Wait, what? Oh, oh my gosh, for flip's sake. Okay, you want me to explain what I flippin' did? 
I did not uh, do the turn thing. This was supposed to be at the bottom, and we were supposed to turn over here. So, yeah. Oh, and we were doing so well, and I just completely messed everything up because of stupid reverse sensing, not reverse sensing, but having it in the wrong way. Ugh, because I don't know how things work. Gosh darn it. Okay. So we're just going to expedite our turn. We're doing so well, too. Gosh darn it. Okay. This is fine. Um. From. To. Correct? Hang on. No, 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 no. Zero one six is not okay. Apparently, it's getting late. <laughs> I'm gonna wrecked, right? Oh my gosh. For flip's sake. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we're there. We need to get down to twenty six hundred. Or not below 2,600 in 7 miles and whatever this turn is. So standard rate of turn. Bring that throttle back a little bit and descend. And we're going to get a little past the 016 ah, six heading. Sorry. Sorry. Can you not please? Thanks. All right. Getting down to 2600. Um, we're going to do a heading up north. Not that fast. We're going to bring throttle back a little bit. Heading of north, please. Heading of north. Uh five five and a half miles to the VOR 26 2600 so we're gonna just do 2700 because that's my own personal minimums because otherwise I just blow right through it uh-huh 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 uh utilize your instruments rely upon them 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 sorry <laughs> Just pep talking myself. Don't worry about it. It does. It feels like I'm very nose high. But I'm not. Uh, it's so weird. Oh, gosh. Okie dokie. This is... Okay. We need to capture. We need to recapture. 016. 016. 016. Go. Uh, not ascending... We're going to bring power up a little bit and then not ascending. Capturing that. Ugh. It's creeping in. <sighs> creeping in, creeping in. 2700. Excellent. If we were to go missed, we would climb up to 2,000. That's a little much. That's a little much. And then a climbing right turn to 2,600 and back to the VOR. Um, check my thing. Okay. So I must be getting pushed from the right. And we have 2.3 miles to the VOR. Now we're getting a little too far that way, so we'll uh, bring it. Oh, nope. And we're not descending, not descending, not descending. Throttling up a little bit. Okay. This is fine. This is not fine. Can you not descend, please? We are. We must have a pretty hefty wind. Not that, that, not that much, not that. Mm. No, we were so good. We were so good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Standard rate, standard rate. 
one mile. So we're getting close. Oh, gosh darn it. We're going to still try. We're going to still try to get it right on there. And we're not going to... Uh, okay, now we're getting, now we're getting. We're gonna, like, put it on the three. I hope. Put it on the three, and... No. I think it's about to... It should be about to flip. There it is. Okay, so now we start descending to the runway, get down to 1540 as soon as possible. Get back on. Not banking in 1540. Oh my god. Oh, that looks so weird. Okay, rely on your instruments. Fifteen forty. We're gonna pull back power a little bit so we can descend a little bit better. Fifteen forty by five miles out. So we got four miles to find the runway. <gasps> oh my gosh. Not that much. Okay, come on, descend. Ah, not that much. Capturing, capturing. See, I'm not sure we're actually going to be able to. Fifteen forty, so we'll do fifteen fifty. <laughs> sixteen hundred. We'll just do sixteen hundred. Okay, so we'll start. Ah, I see the beacon. So we just got to get down to that 1500. We got two and a half miles left. We just got to figure out how we're landing, where we're landing. Uh, we want to land on one, two, I think, because. Okay. Getting down to 1600, getting back on that so we can see the runway. <sighs> so we're just going to stay up here since we like got stuff in sight. <laughs> um... So at 4.2, we are off. Just gotta. <laughs> I see taxi. Okay, so 1600. Ah, we're at 500. So we have the runway in sight. Excellent, cool. And we just hit. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay. And we need to land that-ish way. So we're going to come around this way. We're going to stay up here at this 500. Uh, wherever we are, traffic. Redwood Falls traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree. One Delta One. Uh, left down when one, two, I hope. Um, uh, Redwood Falls. You need to record stuff for your channel. This is convince you to record an IFR flight in the near future. Do it. Do it. Okay. Not ascending. Keep things in sight. Uh. I see taxi. Okay. There it is. Okay. Uh, but I need to. I need to descend a little bit more. Oh, configuring. Um, car repeat, gas, undercarriage, mi fix, mixture full, rich. Totally forgot to. Oh, um, getting out a little bit. Uh, power prop pumps. Throttle out a little more and flaps. Oh gosh, uh, we're doing base to final, so uh, 
Redwood Falls traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, ba base to final, 1, 2, Redwood Falls. Keep the nose coming down, nose coming down. Ugh. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible approach. Oh, look at that. Look how horrible that is. Th in real life, this would be a, probably a go around, but we're maximum efforting it. <laughs> oh, God. It's terrible. Um, second notch of flaps. Keep that runway in sight. <laughs> Oh no. There's enough runway. We're good. Third. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Okay. See if we had a nice, uh, nice stabilized final. Could have had a really great. <laughs> what? <gasps> Going around. Um, this isn't the right airport. No, it is. What the? <gasps> this thing lied to me. Can we still make it? No, we can't. Okay, hang on. Going around. It, hang on. Okay, I need to figure this out. It just told me it's not in my current route. Yes, it is. This is literally what? Oh, because I took off my route. Never mind. Okay. Well, this gives us an opportunity to get a nice stabilized approach. Are we still flying? <gasps> okay. We're good. We're fine. This is fine. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, one, two. So I need to get back onto a heading of one, two. But we'll get up to airport elevation is, sorry, sorry, 1024. So we'll get up to 2000. I promise I fly better in the actual plane. Heading of one, two, climbing at, car peak goes in. Sorry, do a tech in arc into Aldafra, nice, or something. Excellent. So close to getting a gamer word there. Did, was I? I'm sorry. I'm trying to be good. All right, so we're gonna turn back around, turn onto crosswind. Ah. Uh. Okay. Now we're gonna pull power back again. Okay. Um, Redwood Falls, right? Traffic, Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One, left downwind One Two. Uh. Redwood Falls. Okay. There. All right. Okay. <sighs> Getting reconfigured. We were so close, but we will. We'll be able to see that cool moon. That's cool. That's fine. One notch of flaps. Mixture full of rich. Carb heat, gas, undercarriage, or... Er, Fuels on both undercarriage fixed, mixture full rich, not getting pushed into the runway. Uh, power prop pumps, seatbelt switches, landing light is on. <laughs> I usually just leave it on the full time, so I keep forgetting about it. Getting off a little bit. So, oh, well, actually, you know what? I do want to be crab that way because I get I'm getting pushed Ugh. okay sorry hang on see and uh. so once once I can actually see it's way over there okay 
Red Falls traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, left base 1, 2. Redwood Falls. There it is. Okay. So we're on our base. We need a bit to lose yet. Redwood Falls traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. We're getting pushed. So final 1, 2, Redwood Falls. Okie dokie. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And third notch flaps. Excellent. Power is coming out. One, two. Excellent. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> that would not have worked in the real plane. <laughs> Erk! Taxiway. Come on. Work, 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 work. Not a taxiway? What's happening? That's a taxiway. It's a... It's a grass taxiway. Okay, so we're good. We're fine. <gasps> okay. Ah. Flight one done now for the return. Excellent. Very nice. And get yeah, that thing. And nice one wire. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. You know what? Well, no. We're going to taxi down the runway so that we can just see it. And it's going to be beautiful. Uh... Redwood Falls, traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, back taxi, Tree 0, Redwood Falls, to look at the moon. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Oh. And we made it. We did our partial panel, and we we did a successful go around when Four Flight lied to me. Kind of didn't. I kind of lied to Four Flight. Mm. Gorgeous. So we'll go take the lit taxiways because. Thank you, Four Flight. So yeah, they got a grass and an asphalt. We shall find the hoy Christmas Christmas taxi. You know we're gonna go. We're gonna go the full way. We're going the full way. So beautiful. And we did. We did it. Uh. An instrument. It was. It was. It's pretty low. At least for moi. Where is the taxiway? Wait. So you cross these lights, aren't they? Those are in the. Okay. I don't know how lights work. You used to be able to find an approach for Aldafra, but you can only find one blurry image now. You might have to pick a different airport. <laughs> or you could just wing it. See what happens. Okay. So here we go. We're taxiing in, but we're going to hold short over here. Um, and I don't know how flight plans work. So apparently I would assume that they would have already deactivated it or whatever that is. Um, Redwood Falls traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, clear of runway Tree 0 <laughs> at this point. Uh, Redwood Falls. Flaps go up, carb heat goes in, mixture leaned for taxi, landing light goes off. Where are we going? <laughs> We're just going straight. All right. Ah. 
<sighs> that was exhausting. And now we're about to crash into a whatever that is. It's in my taxi way. Oh, it's going that way. Okay. Uh, how far are we? Oh, we're here. We'll, we'll park over here by the big boys. Come here. Just gonna put my tiny little Cessna in between there. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure if my wingspan... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oops! <laughs> I guess... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit wider than I uh, thought I was. Oh, that's blinding! Taxi light off. Okay. Oh, I guess I could have made it. I just had to go the other way a little bit. So small. Oh, uh, okay. Awesome. So. Uh, uh, the, the checklist. Um, avionics go off. Lights go off. Uh, mixture goes out. Flaps are off. Jumper take off. Let it die, and boom, and boom. Why didn't it do the thing? It didn't count it. Oh, well, whatever. All right, check in little nav map. Let's see how we did. <laughs> I don't think it was too bad, but I'm, oh, we'll see. Where is the little nav map? Um, I guess I'll exit so that we can get the music. Continue. Okay. So. I'll put it up on screen in a little bit. Alright. Here we go. So, we start... Oops. Started here. We took off and we had the VOR issue where I was doing magnetic course from four flight but the vor radial was different so yeah so i was going over here thinking i was going to 360 but yeah so then we got that figured out and got back on track and then we s turned all along that thing uh and did that whatever there um i i don't know what that is but we were partial paneling, so it's not too bad apart from that one. Uh, and that, and good lord. Well, let's look at it from up here. See, that's it's kind of straight. And then there's like a nose there. And then, yeah, and then we go there. Oh! Hang on. Can I, oh, can I not drag it? Because, because, because it is, it's a little bit straighter here. Because that's where the VOR is. We cross the VOR. And we went, look at that arm! It's not too bad. I kind of like it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I like it. I like it. And we crossed the VR again and we went in and we found it and we went around and we did a terrible final and four flight lied to me. So we went up again and did another one back in, looked at the lights, taxied in and broke stuff. Excellent. I want to say that that was a success. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pleased with it. I'm pleased with it. I know there's issues in there, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. You think you asked before, but what app is this? This is little, little nav map. Um, here, I'll see if I can, uh, hang on. Let me get a, Eh, hang on. Mm. Oop. Ah, gosh darn it. Sorry, I can't type. Um, so, eh. You found it? Excellent. Sounds good. <laughs> so, yeah, it is. It's very nice. It's very excellent. And, yeah, it tracks and it's good. And it's fun for planning. So, yeah. So, that was that. I am pleased. I, I'm, I'm so pleased about this arc. 
Because we did. I did an actual DME arc. Was it? It wasn't Friday. Was it Friday? No, it was before that. And it was. It was. It was super windy. Like wind shear was happening, and it was. It was. It was terrible, and I kept getting off, and it was. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold on to that one, and I would just need to be able to do that in the actual plane. Ah, <sighs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Just take some time. All right. So that was IFR practice, and oh, it's late, but I'm still gonna try and do some, cram some more written written learning in um but yeah so we did some partial panel which was which was good that worked out pretty well i think um so yeah so i'm i'm not sure so friday i'm thinking since sunday was kind of a disaster i kind of want to do another game night and just have a good time um, and not start any other reading things because for the next couple weeks after, so next week and the week after, I might not be able to stream, but we'll see. Uh, but otherwise, this Thursday, yeah, I think we're just going to have a good time and do something chill. And we'll see after that. So, never ever get lost, we found their way here or found their way back. Thanks for being here and putting up with me and... Hope you had a good time. I had a really good time. That was that was that was nice and cozy, and it got me into that procedural thing for partial panel next time. So, and I should have checked the vacuum. I should have made a point to check the vacuum pressure thing. So, no more fifteenth century smut. No, no, we finished all that. And I mean, it could sneak up on me again, but I don't think so, because. I do. I have to look at the next Shakespeare things. Um, that might be too long. So yeah, I'll just wait with that. And then after that, I kind of want to do Aesop's Fables. That's been kind of the uh, intention. But yeah, I don't know. So either a little more, a little more Shakespeare, whatever that is. I'm still not sure what it is. Um, or Aesop's Fables next. But since I'm unsure of what's going on next week and the week after that, I don't want to start anything. So we will. We'll just do something chill on Thursday and figure it out from there. We'll wing it as usual. Uh, and yeah, we'll try to we'll try to avoid the smut. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, um, yeah. So hope to see you again soon. And if I forgot anything, brain is mush, absolute mush. And yeah. Have a great whatever it's going to be for you. Not going to lie, it was completely hilarious. It it was like looking back on it, but at the time it was like, oh no, oh no. And it was, it was, it was an affront to literature as well. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a little funny, a little funny. Um, yeah. Have a great whatever, whatever it's going to be for you. Thanks again. And yeah. So I think that's it. <laughs> so thanks again. Bye.